All right, now we're live. Hey guys, welcome to our Saturday night thrift haul. We go live every Saturday night to show you the junk that we bought. We tell you what we've paid and how much we're gonna sell it for. <laughs> Everything's already listed at jamierayvintage.com. Caitlin's gonna be dropping the links in here. We're super excited. This is kind of a fun, eclectic mix. I'm gonna unbury my way um, out of here. If you have questions, let us know. We will be painting at the end of the video. And if you haven't done so and you like these kinds of videos, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe and follow us. All right, all right let's let show me... some stuff. All right, hold on, Zeb. You like you I... got all the tall stuff by me and I'm the shortest. I was trying to block stuff. you from the computer. You're trying to make sure I couldn't <laughs> see? What? Okay, so we have to ask, before I said hello, could you guys see us for a really long time? Because we could see ourselves, but we didn't. And you guys the... were able to chat. But I hadn't hit the live stream start button. So we're like, I don't know. Can they hear us? Hopefully, they... hopefully we didn't say anything weird. Hopefully that <laughs> didn't toot on camera. Oh, I may have. <laughs> Gassy tonight. They don't want to know All that. Right. Thrift haul. That's what we're here for. And that's what we're going to do. Did you hold on a second? Did you take a picture of all this? No. Oh, six ninety nine okay. is what we paid for this. Uh, at Savers, we're going to sell it for $19.95. It's got a special, very special paint job on it. What? What is so special about that paint well, job? Well, it's like it's like it had a paint job, and then someone was like, eh, "I think I'm going to splatter it and just paint this one little piece right here." It's just it's it's got something going on. It's and not good. The top needs repaired. Maybe we'll get around to doing that tonight. I don't know. It needs a couple nails removed that are not letting it sit down flush because they're and meant. glue yeah we'll get so we're gonna paint that and we did you tell them how much we paid yeah all right then we're all up to speed i just want to make sure let's talk about we this are. chicken because it's like right in front of me okay i'll show them all right so this chicken is 9.99 it's a porcelain one and we're gonna sell it for 49.95 and we like the way that it looks it's got this fun cottage vibe usually i paint and wax them but the colors are pretty muted and i love like the teal here the red, cream, and blue, and then it's got like fruit all on the bottom, like some big giant strawberries and a big eggplant. It's good. I don't feel like the strawberries and eggplant are to scale though. Like those are big strawberries. Um, how big are the strawberries? Oh, they get that big. He's not super huge, but it's like bigger than the corn. So maybe yeah. it's a baby corn. If we were to paint and wax that, sometimes we sell these upwards of 80 plus dollars, but we're going to sell it as is for $49.95 with the existing paint job. Ooh, if you're, where are the cottage core people that would have gotten this? Gotten? gotten would have, they would have gotten it? They would have picked this up, but not painted it. We're, we're helping you out. I that. actually like the colors because they're like bright but muted. Is that even a thing? I don't know if it is or not. Also, fair warning, we have two cousins here that my kids haven't seen in a long time, and so they're super excited. So if it's a little bit loud, it's because we made them get off the internet so we could stream better, and they are probably <laughs> playing board games up there. It does look really bright and nice and crisp tonight. So, you know, you know, we learn as we go, right? When we first started going, it reminded me of when we first started going live about two and, and a half years ago. <laughs> Yeah, they forget. Um, Amper says that those are either huge strawberries or small pumpkins, one or the other. Big strawberries. We're going to go with that. Um, this was $8, and it's got a piece of fabric up in here. Remember when Chevron was the deal? The fabric's going to have to come out. Not painted all the way on the inside, just up to right here. We'll probably do the same thing. We use food safe paints. The Sweet Pickens milk paint is bio certified, but. Sometimes you put your bread in there and it gets soft and soggy and you forget about it for weeks on end and then that will ruin the paint. So my plan is to put a new piece of like wood in there or something and then either decoupage it or stencil it and then it's going to get a new paint job. Probably won't happen tonight because that's going to be a little bit more involved, but maybe next week we'll do a thrift makeover video. So anything we don't paint tonight, we can get to that next yeah, week. Yeah, whoever upholstered this put about 83 staples on each side. They were thorough in their stapling. Back's not painted on this either. I just wanted to show you guys. <laughs> Joanne said that those are California strawberries. That's why they're so big. The video does have a yellowish tint. Robert, I know. Is it because we have our yellow no, light on? No, it's doing something weird tonight, and I tried to fix it beforehand, and I couldn't adjust the white balance, so we're just going to run with Hold it. Hold on, wait for it. Are you going to flip the lights once? Yes. Don't Just don't make them flash. All right, flip those ones. All right. Is that better? Um, yeah. It's a lot better. Okay. There we go. 
the lighting crew was not on their game. Kyle wants to know if Odelia survived the nonsense of last night's birthday party. She did. She was there for a little bit, but she also bounced out and, you know, she wasn't required for babysitting. So she did her own thing. Yeah. If their older brothers had been there, she might have participated more. But 10 year old boys, especially the football team, they're a little rowdy. But they, you know what? They were respectful and nobody cried. And I know that there was some pain, but nobody cried because that's how football players have fun. That's how they share the love. Well, they had the pool noodles and they attacked each other they for about... They were beating each other with them for an hour. Yeah, yeah I was going to say at least an hour. I thought for sure somebody was going to cry, but nobody cried. Okay, so this is a little jewelry box. It's in great shape inside. The felt is in good condition. It's like a cream color. Whoa. The drawers were in good condition. <laughs> the drawers were in good condition. It has one little broken drawer. Pull. It has a knob and you just exposed it. So but we're going to glue the yeah. handle back together. And when we paint it, we're going to paint everything including the handle so that way you can't tell where the repair was made can't see it but at all. the joy box is really fun it's got like some good hanging size and it's a good solid size yeah odelia is laughing at you um robin if you go to jrv closet on the new website on the left hand side if you click the menu go to jrv closet and um i just put new clothes on there i haven't had time to do another video this week on the new stuff that came in for that but there's some new plus size and some new regular size clothes. So if you search new to old, you'll see all the new stuff. Um, Caitlin can drop a link in here if you can't find it. So let me know. So Jamie and I often peruse the store together. And sometimes we split up when Jamie looks at something too long or she starts researching what something is right there in the thrift store. I usually keep on going on down the aisles. And a guy was holding this. When I went by and I was kind of eyeballing him, but he didn't put it down until I was down the aisle and I didn't want to be like all weird and creepy. <laughs> you don't want to be a creeper? I didn't want to like stare, stare him down like, you know, put oh, that down. Oh, did we tell him how much that was going to be? Put that down? Oh, I don't know. I'll go, I'll get back to that. Okay, no, sorry. Let me finish my story. <laughs> and then Jamie came back around and she had it in her, I was like all the way off to the other side of the store and she had this in her hand. So he must have set it down. I did not rip it from him. So he did set it down. Are I didn't sure? even see him. I didn't. <laughs> Sure? I'm like, give me that copper like, hanging oh. pot. <laughs> it's a copper hanging plant uh, bowl, vase, whatever you want to call it. It's a copper dangling plant. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was $4.99. We're selling it for $14.95. It has a little bit of patina. It's got the brass solder on the bottom and the brass hangers. And it's really cute. Okay, we're going to bring back the jewelry box because we didn't do our job. Our job tonight, it's, we've been doing this for quite a few years now is to tell you how much we paid. So I can't remember how much we paid, but I know we're going to sell for $29.95. Uh, we paid $4 for $4. this. $4. All right. Uh, that's, that's actually some of the stuff we had to pay a lot for today, more than normal. But that one was, I feel like, a little low. I would have paid yeah. probably up to $8 for that. Well, so the drawers fell out and I got sidetracked. That's well, what that, you know, that tends to happen. I don't know how These that... are really cool with decoupage paper on them, by the way. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Oh, the, the plant hanger did sell. It's already Eunice gone. says the joy box looks like it has a nice finish. Um, it does, but it's nothing special. I mean, you could probably buy the same joy box at Walmart. It's, it's and not that Walmart's bad, but we're going to, we're going to paint over the handle where we have to repair it. And we want to make it look more handmade. So a little less traditional, a little bit more cottage because that's just our style. And that's what we do. We don't typically uh, thrift beanie babies. But this is a sheep from 2000, the Thai collection. Its um, name is Fleecy. I don't even know where you got this because it didn't have a price tag or anything. Um, on it. I got it at the DI. I put a booster And they on gave it to bum. me for 50 cents. 50 cents. Yes, because okay. it's a small one. And it's in, it's in all, I would say it's in pretty new condition. If it gets yeah. dusty, it's dusty from our house because it didn't come dusty. Yeah, no, it's clean. And I'm going to sell it for how much? $12.95. $12 and I looked them up and some of them are selling like even way more. So I don't know if it's a super collectible one, but $12.95 seemed about reasonable for me for a little beanie baby. It um, fits in the farmhouse category, it's a sheep. Ampers said, I'm gonna tell people that Jamie knocked down some guy at the thrift store so I could buy that <laughs> copper pot. <laughs> oh, I'm glad it's getting a good home. I did not knock anybody down. I just have, we sometimes thrift separately and I just happened to go down the aisle a few minutes after. Yeah, that. he probably just set it back down where he picked it up from and Jamie snagged it on her way through because we looked, 
we often find the same things. Like sometimes Jamie will be holding something. I'm like, oh, I picked that up and put it back down. And vice versa, it happens to her too. We thrift a lot alike. And <laughs> we did throw show the chicken. Um, it is $49.95 and we're not painting it. I know you're surprised. All right, so this is like a wall sconce. It doesn't, sometimes these have a closed shelf. This one's open. It does have two holes for hanging it here. And it's like a resin. Are we painting this or are we leaving it gold? No, I'm leaving it gold. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, you touched some stuff. I <laughs> I accidentally like did a dic dictionary thing. It's really hard because Apple computers are weird. You just right. can't scroll with the mouse. You have to use the keys over there. So we call it resin, but really it's plastic. But yeah. it's resin. It's like not plastic. I don't know how to explain it. $3.99. Did you tell me that? $3.99. $12.95. Selling it for $12.95. You can paint it if you want to, but we've had a few people recently like ask us not to paint gold stuff. So I thought I'd save some of the gold stuff and we'll see how it sells. So fun fact, really quick, got to get this out of the way. We paint a lot of these things. And when you find them on the website, if you go to the thrift hall and you want to have them in your home and it says will be painted, very rarely do we take custom requests on that because we don't do custom work anymore. So if you buy it beforehand, and it says will be painted and you don't like the finish, beware. We're beware. gonna send it to you. <laughs> it could be painted a funny color. If we paint um, it like in the live and you bought it at the beginning of the live, not knowing what it was gonna be painted and then you don't like it, that just fair warning. <laughs> um, jo Jody's, no, hold on. Deb, did you see the chippy sideboard I posted on the Facebook group? I have not seen that. Um, and I have not seen, Anna, I have not seen a lot of people putting fall in their shop, but I know that it's coming. Why does it keep looking up the word in the dictionary? You keep touching something. Okay, sorry. I'll figure this out. I think you Sandy need to. Sandy says put down the pot if you want to win. <laughs> Listen, if I was going to throw elbows for something at the thrift store, it wouldn't be that. But I have seen a few things that I was like, man, if I was a little more gutsy. All right. So this is like a fun apothecary jar, but it's got a bird on the top. And we we love put a birds. bird on it. We liked it so much. We put a bird on it. So it was four ninety nine. It had like potpourri and all that fun stuff in here. Jamie doesn't really do out. potpourri. She's like, especially thrift store potpourri is usually lost its fragrance. So <laughs> it's lost something. And it's not. It's not necessarily the prettiest to look at once it's accumulated dust. Uh, $4.99. We're selling it for $22.95. It does need a good scrub in here. There's like something oily no, on it, the inside. No, it, I dumped out the potpourri and I used a Clorox wipe. Oh, that's and what And so it is. the Clorox wipe is now attached to potpourri essence, but we yeah. will get all of the essence out before we ship it. And if it doesn't sell, we'll sell it in our shop and it's $22.95. And that is nice thick glass. Yes, it is. And thick. thick glass is important. And let me tell you why thick glass is important. I just broke my second cloche. Zeb broke a cloche, then I broke a cloche. Both of them had thin glass, and I will be bringing no more cloches to my house unless the glass is thick because thin glass doesn't survive around here. All right, this was actually from the thrift store. How often do you find a great chippy frame complete with hanging hardware on the back of it? It's already got hooks back here. Um, I don't know what the price was on this. Did it get washed away in the rain because it was in the back of the truck and I forgot so it was, about it? It was... Um, I remember I think it was three dollars. No, it, it was eight. I oh, eight dollars. And eight I, I wouldn't have purchased this without glass for eight dollars. But the chippy paint is bomb. Now, here's the thing about chippy paint. I don't know how old it is, and I can't guarantee what it is. So don't eat it. Don't sand it. Don't put it where kids can eat it. And if you're worried about it, encapsulate it um, with some really great thick sealer. And we're selling it for twenty four ninety five. Twenty four ninety five. I love the chippy green minty green situation okay deb's laughing at the potpourri essence <laughs> it's true it's what's left over literally there's a box over there that has a potpourri dumped into it because i was like this is gross Threw it away. <laughs> so this is this is metal and when we were going by it i thought it was like just like a architectural detail type thing but surprise it's a tin Press tin, uh, it might even be. I think I called it an orb situation. I, it's not really You an orb. did call it an orb situation. I don't, know, I don't know what to call it. Like I was at a loss of words. And so that just worked for me. So it was $2. We're going to paint it, I'm assuming. Yes, it's going to get it. I mean, the teal with the black wax is very cool. I mean, it was really popular like a lot 2015. You know, we've but... been accused for not doing enough color. Like 
you guys someone someone recently was like you guys paint everything not enough color you need more color and i was in the garage today and everything is colorful in the garage and it wasn't even on purpose but it's not all finished yet so anyways that's going to sell for how much we paid two dollars we're selling it for 14 95 and it's already yeah. paint or already sold so it's an M&M dish, Robert says. Yeah, I like yeah. that. We peanut M&Ms or are you the peanut butter M&Ms or just plain M&Ms or almond M&Ms? Weigh in. What kind of M&Ms do you like? Put it okay, in the comments. So here's a good question. It says, is cottage core replacing the farm decor? Um, I feel like it's just moving into it. It's We're going away from a very like aisle four of Hobby Lobby look. You guys have heard me say that a lot. And moving into more of a curated look and more like not time, eclectic not eclectic not eclectic curated curated and if you don't know what that is you'll have to look it up it's really hard for me to explain but like i just think of like time worn things that you collect over time in your travels and whatnot um and that's what's getting popular and i don't know if it's replacing it i just think it's mixing with it so so this is 4.99 this birdhouse has a copper roof and i believe that it is a functional birdhouse. It's got a hole in there for the birds to go in and would work great to keep the rain We off didn't look to see if there was essence of bird in there. I don't think there is. It was $4.99. We're selling it for $16.95, and it's going to get painted. It does have a couple cobwebs on there. We Fair warning, we may paint those in for texture. I'm going to wipe it down first before I paint it. I know, uh, Melissa, that a, a orb is round. <laughs> but I didn't know what else to call it. And so that's what I went with. And apparently it worked because somebody um, bought it. And we are going to paint that birdhouse. So we'll just paint the bottom, but we will not be painting over the copper because that's the good stuff. Peanut M&Ms are winning pretty good right now. Peanut M&Ms are winning. And then, peanut M&Ms um, are my dad's favorite since I can remember. He likes peanut butter. I like peanut. I love the peanut butter. The peanut butter are my favorite. But since I can remember, my dad's had a bag of peanut M&Ms in his pocket running around. He will eat them nonstop. Um, so this was a dollar, this little pig here. And this is the kind of piggy bank that you have to break to get the stuff out of. It's hardcore. You've got to really want your money. So this is this is the one that actually makes you save, not with the cheat hole in the bottom where you can just like open it up and get all the loose change so you can go to the movies or whatever. You got to wait on this guy until he's all the way full. And then you keep waiting because he looks cool because you don't want to break him. We're going to paint him. And we paid $1 and we're going to sell him for $12.95. We actually bought him last week. We had a whole bag of stuff that we you. bought last week that we forgot to show you, which, which is, is okay yeah. <laughs> because we actually had a lot of stuff last week. So I went down the glass aisle and often we find uh, salt and pepper shakers. This is this is like a house and a barn. And the house is the pepper and the barn is the salt. Is that found these? 75 cents. Deal. We're, We're gonna... selling them for $12.95 for the set. Uh, they need a little bit of scrubbing, but they're they're in good shape. I don't know. Dude, you I might... already did some scrubbing. You did some scrubbing? I did some preemptive scrub because I, I couldn't even photograph them. Can they you were, see? They were uh, not like used. They I were can... just on someone's shelf. It's not picking it up. Anyway, they've got like little indents in here. There's a barn door. If you really want to see them good, check out the website, jamierayvintage.com. Salt and pepper shaker should bring them right up. <laughs> Desiree says, I had one of those as a kid. You can jimmy out the coins <laughs> with a knife. I had one like that Been too. Been there, done that. My mom made me this big paper mache one out of a balloon and it had feet and a snout and ears and everything. It looked awesome. But by the time I was like 10, the hole where you deposit the coins was pretty large because I kept digging at it. So it's a pagoda tin. Thank you, Susan. The next time I see that, I'll be like, Susan told me that was a pagoda tin. What's a pagoda now? It's that. Yeah, that looks like a pagoda. Well, it is a pagoda. It's like that shape, you know, like the, the Asian buildings. Oh. You know, the pagodas. Oh, okay. I don't know. 50 cents, little hermetic jar. I love the little hermetic jars. This is perfect oh, for like needles. Pat wants that orb the way it is because teal's her favorite color. Orb. So. All right, so, Pat, no. you lucked in. I saw your comment. So we're not paying the, not the orb, the pagoda, <laughs> whatever it is. The whatever it is, teal's her favorite color. So Pat, you got it. It's a pagoda. <laughs> oh, so there's a comment up here I wanted to read. It's a, uh, if you haven't heard of dark ac academia and light academia design aesthetic, check it out. So I'll check it out. But that just sounds to me like macadamia, which makes me think of Hawaii. And then I just want some chocolate covered macadamia nuts. Is academia like in a library? Is it academia? Like light and bright or, or dark heavy uh, wood? Uh, so this was 50 cents. Uh, it's only going to be three ninety five, and it's awesome. I can see it's a little wee baby bottle. Know, if I was a tailor per se, 
I would keep needles in here. I am a tailor. That's my mom's maiden name. Oh, different kind of tailor. Oh, that would be good for needles. Yeah, I think it'd be a great little jar for needles or something. Cute. All right, so three ninety five for that one. Did you know that this has been glued back together? Yes, I did. did I'm gonna paint. Did you disclose it? I don't know, but I'm gonna paint it. And so this will this know. handle has been whacked off, but it's sturdy. It has been re-glued before we found it. <laughs> I'm trying to get it to break before we ship it out. It's not happening. Solid repair. It is a cookie press. It's really cool. It's stoneware on the bottom. We're gonna repaint the handle because it's already been painted, but that way you can't see that it has been repaired and it's cute. And I don't know what I paid for it. What did I pay? Uh, $1.50. And how much are we gonna sell for? It says $12.95. $12.95, that's the price of the day. Okay. I Everything wanna paint it and then I wanna like two-tone it. So I'm gonna have to find a little teeny brush. Oh, you're gonna paint the hearts and stuff? Yeah, but I'm not gonna get that crazy with it. It's probably just gonna be two colors. Okay. Show them this pottery while I collect Noah's Ark over here. Kaylin said that I did disclose that there was a repair. Okay. It does say it on there? Yep. It does. All right. I got to hit the new comments. Okay. There's a dove Can everybody here. hear us okay today? I think I'm just so. curious. Nobody's I think, I think Nobody someone, has complained. I was going to say, I think they, they're not shy. They would pipe in if we were having sound Ooh, issues. Robert Gloria hopped over to Facebook uh -huh. from the YouTube and said, howdy, Facebook peeps. We've been using the StreamYard app. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that or if that ruins the algorithm. But if you guys like this video, you watch it on YouTube, but you want to share it, it'd be helpful if you ever happen to hop over to the Jamie Ray Vintage page on Facebook, you can just share it from there. And it helps because we're trying to get to 600,000 live views in 60 days. Yep. Live, um, and live min watch time in minutes is what it is. So we would like you to still watch us on YouTube because <laughs> we're not monetized on the Facebook yet. But how do I? I'm I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm gonna wait till it like. Okay, there's more animals coming. It's like we have three sets of the ark, but Jamie thought that they were awesome. They were in a little baggie. If you ever go to a thrift store, sometimes they bag like items up for you, so you don't have to hunt all over the thrift store for them. And this Sound is, is two good. Sets. Misty said it's hard to see the details, so we'll try not to. I think that's more our camera. You know, what? I can I can make it less bright. No, the bright is good. But, but I, think, I think it's because it's bright. That's I think why it's you're losing the details. Because it's on autofocus. Is that no. what it is? No, nope. here, watch. I'll make it less bright. All right. Now he's gonna be messing with stuff. Carolyn, you are really late, but we still love you, anyways. The pop up on the lower bottom is covering what you are trying to show. Oh, okay. Well, we'll try to show it where you can there, see. There, I just some. I just need someone to sit here and focus for you guys. Oh, there you go. So it looks then, great. Then when I move away, it's gonna find your face. Oh, just have to wait a second. Good job. That's really pretty. Oh well, so oh, I, I, I got the arc set up. Comment. I don't know how to do that. So this was two ninety nine, and we're gonna sell it for nine ninety five. Just a little creamer. Jamie loved the art on it. It's like apples. Yeah. So it's hang apple on. blossoms. Hang on, wait for it. I'm just going to stand here and focus for you guys so you can really see it. Because the camera is amazing. It's no, it's still looking a little blurry. Oh, oh, and it focused. Yeah, it focused. Yes. All right. Yeah, you stay on that side. Epic. <laughs> Dang, that was amazing. That's what Mosa says. Okay. When you're on YouTube, you can zoom in on your phones. All right. Check it out. Okay, so this is Noah These and the Ark. These ones are carved, and someone's, like, taking a Sharpie and giving this them This is detail. some old grandma's set. Like... You know what I mean? Like she kept adding to it and I love it. Some of them are hand carved. Some of them are not. Some of them have really great detail on them and there's not two of every animal. So it's kind of Noah. I don't know. It's cool. Um, and we paid $2.99 for the set. We're going to sell for $12.95 because apparently everything is $12.95 tonight. Jamie couldn't. She was like, $12.95, $12.95, $12.95. How come Noah is giant and his wife I'm gonna is like. I'm going to these. His wife is tiny. I'm wondering if these are not from the same set. Maybe a lot of those are a match. Oops. Show them this. I'm just I'm showing course. them the barns focused. Zeb really wants you to see this. Hey, I've discovered how to use Show the stuff. Them Noah and his wife. Usually I'm doing an edited video and I'm back behind here doing it. Yeah, she's tiny and definitely painted differently. So this is like a collaborative set, but for twelve ninety five it can all be yours. It's really cute, but um I don't know if these are like not choking hazard size, so make sure the kid's old enough not to put them in their mouth. <laughs> Because these All are right. handmade. All right, we're moving along. Okay, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna stay right here because okay, you you're right you're cuter than I am by a lot, and okay. apparently we need to focus this. 
I'm going to have to get a full-time cameraman. I'll, maybe I'll hire Redrick. I'll be like, Redrick. So the thing about StreamYard, you can have two cameras. So we could try that. Yeah, but... we could we could do two cameras. But check out these mugs. They're really cute. They don't have any um, label or anything on the say, bottom. Is there any maker mark on there? Oh, Yumiko made that set into Christmas ornaments. That would be cute with a little... Um, now they can see the detail on the barns. The little... Uh, what are those called that you put on the top of ornaments? The little things that you screw into the top. Oh, just eye hook. Eye hooks, yeah. So those were a dollar forty nine each, and I'm selling for twelve ninety five. Like on I said. the mugs. Yeah, the mugs were a dollar forty nine each. So I paid three dollars for the pair, and I'm selling for twelve ninety five. Salt and pepper shaker. Someone went to Holland and brought these back. How cool are these little claws? Chintz cups. They are cottage mugs. I thought they were really good. Look at these. These little clogs are amazing. So those are Delft. Um, and some of the stuff goes for quite a bit. These actually came in a bag on the Sabres wall. So never underestimate the power of the Sabres wall bag, bag wall. Anyways, I don't know how much they $2 were. $2.95. And so $14.95. $14.95. You went up a little bit. On Those these. are extra. Those are salt and pepper shakers and they're so dang cute and they're in really good shape. I'm going to have to work on my hands. Maybe use some of the... Uh... You could be a hand model. <laughs> I've always got like cuts and paint and jagged right. nails. So I saw these egg dishes. Are these milk glass? Yes. It's like um, blue milk glass. So Fire King is, I looked it up. It's not tagged that name, but Fire Ooh, King. Uh, apparently Fenton makes them too. But even the Fire King ones, I saw upwards of $60 in some places. It was crazy town. The blue milk glass is really popular. Um, the design on the bottom is really pretty. And I'm selling that one for how much, Seb? Uh, $19.95. And how much did I pay? Two dollars. Two dollars. All right. I want to show them the pampered chef. You don't need to be close for that. Okay. Yeah. So I want to talk about it real quick. I'll come back so, forward. I think we're mostly done with the details. We live in Utah, and yeah, we are done with the detail. The peeps in Utah love themselves some pampered chef. Some of them never use it. Caitlin already snagged this, so you can't buy it. Sorry if you wanted it. Caitlin saw but, it when she was editing all of the thrift haul collection tonight, and she's like, "Wait, wait." <laughs> I'm going to need that. It was $2 and I would have sold it for anywhere from like 18 to $20, but they sell for 45 brand new, but I've seen them because sometimes the stoneware goes on back order. I've seen them go upwards of 60 to $80. Look it up. Look up Pampered Chef stoneware. They have it on Etsy and on uh, Amazon and all kinds of stuff. So if you see, if the people in your area like stoneware, pick it up because Pampered Chef is like a really great brand for it. And I can get it usually under $5. I, I never buy new stoneware anymore. I always thrift it. What is that big banner over there that's on the screen? Oh, super chat. She says, uh, I collect the Delft stuff. I'm going to buy them. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Sally. I was wondering if we would be able to see the super chat since we switched to the Yeah, new. it pops it up real big. Okay. So we've got a few things. So we titled this video, Thrifting for a Living. Um, and I think some people are like, can you really do that? But we have been doing it six years now. And it's not the only thing we do, but it's definitely how we got started, how we started running with things. So when you're looking at the stuff we're pricing and like what we're, what we're selling it for in our shop, that's kind of regional for our area. But just, you know, find out what's going on. You guys can do it, dude. You can. And actually, we try to say like less than um ebay less than etsy and a lot of times people come into our store and they're like you know your prices are really good because we're not like one of those upscale antique stores that charges millions of dollars for everything i think people appreciate that i feel like i'm blinding everybody so i'm gonna hold this like this <laughs> this mirror has like 18 different facets on it okay i paid three dollars and i'm selling it for 14.95 <laughs> oh diane said saw the newspaper ad Thank you. That was really fun. I mean, it's not like it gets a huge amount of circulation. It's just for Lehigh, but you know, we Lehigh love this is 70,000 people now. If they're sending that to everybody's house because it's the free press. That's true. But are they <laughs> reading it? I don't know. But we did share the article in the Facebook group that they put in there. And I was just really, I, I thought it was cool that they I read it. They put cool over. stuff about all the sports teams yeah, and what's going on, what's going on with the town development. That's if you're not, if you're from Lehigh and you're not reading it, it's good. Tom says, heck yeah, you can make a, a living. Tom knows. Oh, he's Tom's got younger. whole barn fulls of stuff and he gets a lot of it for free. Janine says, I always find, whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> I have to fix something real fast. Oh, okay. That's fine. What happened? Did you switch that? 
the switch the the there we go we're back to normal what happened it only records for half an hour i can't set it it's a camera oh well we were fine we were still live i can't turn that off i tried i just almost tripped over this huge clock we'll talk about in a minute yeah tom tom's uh making a living thrifting and uh picking we'll call it we'll call it that so these were a dollar each and normally we don't pick up clear glass like this, but we want to decoupage the bottom with some of our new papers that we've got and it should look cool. Are we going to do that tonight? I think we should do that tonight. I think we should. We'll get started. We'll do, we'll definitely do, we'll each do one of those tonight. I've we're seen it done on well time. and I've seen it done not well. And I'm hoping that we're on the do it well part. Um, Don says, I love the thrift. Just started into your live. Do you sell local or do you sell ship? So we ship a ton of packages. We shipped a ton today because it was subscription box day um, and we mailed out 170 something subscription boxes for our craft kits. But we started just local selling yeah. out of our house. But the thing about shipping is it takes time um, and it takes practice. And the more that you ship, the more that you learn how to ship. And there's sometimes that no matter how well you package it, they basically run it over with a dump truck and it doesn't arrive alive. So you just do your best to make sure you ensure all your packages and always keep good communication with your customers. We have an entire customer service department, which is actually just Caitlin, but she's awesome at it. And she makes sure everybody is taken care of. So tell them about, this is another grab bag. Are you bag. gonna make it stop vibrating? Yes. Don't forget to turn it back on though. <laughs> <laughs> so this was an entire grab bag for $2.99. It has a bunch of cookie cutters in it, but this is why it got purchased. Oh, sorry. It has biscuit cutters and I could never find good biscuit cutters. So I liked that it had a set of three and then it also had this, which I think is for eggs, maybe oh, a mold because this flips down. So comment if you know what this is flips down. Um, and then it also has this, which this to me looks like a man. If this is for eggs for like, just leaving them on, on there and having them be perfectly round. For like an egg McMuffin. Yeah. Yeah. I might need to keep it. It's this. not very tall on the sides, but I think it would work for our eggs because we have little chicken eggs because so we have I little tried, chickens. I yeah. tried that with like a quart mason jar lid and it didn't work out for me. It ran underneath it. Oh yeah. I think that's what this is, but I'm but not sure. This has this, Oh no. It's an egg ring. So this, I think, this comes in the set too. Ugh. And I think it's like a silo is it's what like it looks like. Thing. Doesn't this look like silos? Yes. I think this is a silos cookie cutter. I think this could be a goat. I'm not positive. I would say a deer. A deer. Yep. Okay. I don't, I don't know Those what are this glasses. is. Oh, I thought it was a coconut bra. <laughs> Apparently it's glasses. This is another, it looks another like a biscuit, great biscuit or, cookie, or, or cookie cutter. Yeah. And then like randomly, it also comes with palm a palm tree that says 149 on the side and a Christmas tree. Christmas so tree. really I'm selling the biscuit cutters, but you get all of this. The low, low price of, I think, $12.95. Yes. <laughs> I told you it's $12.95 tonight, everything. So we... We haven't been uh, doing lots of her hermetic jars lately, but we decided to do this one because it looks like a beehive. It's because you popped up the dictionary again. No, 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 that's fine. I was talking about over here. Oh. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> I know how to fix that. Um, so we have been buying hermetic jars because we bought a lot for a while, but we love that this looked like a beehive. I'll show them close. And we paid $2.99 and we're selling it for $6.95. Hold on. It says see. it's a moose if you're Canadian. Yeah. Moose. What size is the mirror? It's not big. I will show it to you. Is that mirror or this other mirror I just showed? Um, I think she means this one. This one over here is about 14 inches wide. I would say this is also about 14 inches wide. I paid $3.99 and we're gonna sell for $22.95 and I'm gonna give it a new paint job. So I'm gonna you can see how big it is next to my forearm. Show them next to your forearm. So it's yeah, about 14 inches. Jen gave, gave me a thumbs up, but I don't know why. Eventually, I'm going to lose my phone prop here because it's an item we're selling. Okay, <laughs> so we're selling all three of these false scrap. I call them creamers, but this is actually a pretty good-sized gravy boat, um, I would say. And then there's like a medium-sized creamer. We've, I paid 75 cents for each of these, and for whatever reason, that one was a dollar. So this is not a color that we see often in our area, this color combo. It's like teal and like a really great eggplant color, and they are made by Faultscraft. And um, that one, so I paid a dollar two fifty for the set, and I'm going to sell for twenty two ninety five. But for all three Faultscraft stoneware creamers, they're really nice weight. Yeah. Um, and I could sell them individually and probably make a little bit more, but I think whoever buys them would probably want all of them. So I'm keeping them as a set. 
So Zeb, you tell me about this one because this one's your pick. I got excited about this one. It's it uh, it says made in USA on the bottom. We couldn't nail down a maker. So if you know more about butter dishes, the French style butter dishes that That's are made American in the USA. Butter dish. It's made in the USA. Um, so this is the kind where you pack the butter in the top here and then you fill the bottom with water and keeps your butter all nice and fresh and spreadable. Um, spreadable is the, the name of the game. Yeah. And, but it's, it's like a, I just like the shape on it. The color, you know, it's a little more red than we it's do. It's cranberry. But I think I for totally holidays coming up, this is perfect. I think that it's good year round. Um, but it says made in the USA and it was $1 and we're selling for fourteen ninety five because I've not seen one. And we think it's like American pottery type because the way it's stamped, but we're not sure. Yeah. And that's a juniper fault graph is what that is saying. Are the cookie cutters dishwasher safe? I don't know. They didn't say as such. I'm going to assume they're, 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 metal, like tin, they're like tin, tin maybe stainless. I, I don't know 100%. I would say with about 85 to 95 percent surety that I would put them in my dishwasher. Depends. Are you the dishwasher or are you going to put them in a machine? <laughs> oh, sometimes when it just says made in the USA, it is Fiesta wear. Um, I don't think it's Fiesta wear. Yeah, it has kind of that style, but I've not seen this exact color. Yeah. It could also be whole. Whole. All sometimes of the USA pottery is made. collectible. Sometimes whole just says made in USA on the bottom. Yeah. So there's right. several different ones it could be, I think. This is not thrifted, but like I said, I didn't have time to do a video about what's new in the shop. And I wanted to show you guys this. This is so pretty. So this is, I think it's like $14.95 if I'm correct. And it's a Magnolia. Can you, can you, sh I'll hold it there. Does that help? There we go. <laughs> yeah, it takes it a second and it'll focus and on it. And it's darling. And we have, I think like eight of these. And I know as soon as I put them on the floor next week, they're going to sell out. So if you're ordering something from the thrift hall and you need some floral for it, it's a really great size and the price is good. And I'm not seeing that anywhere else. And I loved like the size of the flower. Where were we recently? Odelia, it's not dried. It's fake. It looks like it looks preserved. real. It looks real, the, but it's fake. The leaves are like a, a vinyl almost. How long did it like take you to look through a thrift store? Mm. If everything's good, like 20 minutes, but. It takes us longer if we don't find stuff quick. Cause then, then we go back around and we really start digging. Once the cart's full, like I stop, I realize, you know, like there's only so much junk I can buy, but it's been, we had to go to three thrift so stores. So at most thrift stores in our area, whether it's Savers, we go to Goodwill occasionally. Um, DI is our most common, but. They still are making you schedule your drop-offs because of some COVID restrictions. So we don't self-imposed COVID restrictions. Yeah, they 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 could they everything's open oh, here. So they thing. could they could do it. But because they make you schedule, their donations haven't been as good and the savers have been knocking it out of the park. You didn't write the price on this, but I think it was nine ninety five. I think you're right. This is a little atrium. It was a dollar fifty. It's and leaded glass. It's leaded glass and it does have holes in the top, so you could put a candle in here because it's got enough ventilation. Um, and I'm selling it for $9.95. Isn't it cute? So leaded glass, if you don't know what that means, is basically the same thing that they use to do like stained glass. Um, and that's, this is just clear glass on this. Jana, you want to know something sad? I didn't know that magnolias could live here. So I bought the two trees out front and I do love them. And then I drove down the street and there was this giant magnolia tree. And I'm like, if I would have known that, I would have planted magnolias. And it was blossoming like crazy. And she's like, what did but I just do? We have no more room for any more trees. So hopefully when the church goes through, I'm going to plant me some magnolias at the church because I'm going to enjoy them one way or the tether. Yep. So. All right. All right. Okay. We got one. Oh, the clock. Oh, the you cl got a person. What I about got my... my Vera Bradley find? All right. So this was four ninety five. I don't know where the tag went. And it's a legit Vera Bradley. Um, it's in great shape. It's got a little bit of ink on the inside, which nobody really cares about. And it has a small ink spot on the front. Um, that I put a picture on, but it's really not super noticeable. But otherwise, it's in good shape. All the zippers work well. And it's got the, um, well, I say that and then I zip it on itself. Duh. Hold on. And then it's got a zipper on the front, which I like. And then it's got an adjustable strap. And I just really liked the colors on it. And I'm selling it for $14.95. And these sell for like brand new, like $60 to $80 for this size. So I couldn't pass it up because I thought the colors were fun. All right. Can you guys see my clock? Guess what? Check this out. Since we're using the camera. Oh, yeah. Oh, Dawn says, I just got a box of vintage dishes at an auction for a buck. 
That's awesome. Okay, so the clock is, oops, hang on. Robert says that's a big mamma jamma. And somebody said try hairspray for the, um, for the ink. I think that it would take it out, but I'm worried about color fastness, so I'm just gonna leave it because I'm like, I don't wanna make it bad. It's really not that noticeable. So this has a big cast iron base with some maybe cop sprayed on copper. I don't know. It's looking a little rusty for copper. Copper usually <gasps> gets patina <laughs> instead of rusts, but it is made for outside and it's got a place where you can bolt it down in the ground. And then it's got a place here for hanging plants. There's one there. I'm not shipping this by the way. And one here. I saw it at the savers for $30. I'm like, you know what? I got to take it. It has been living outside. It's got some rust and things. I'm going to leave that because it's awesome. The face is getting a little warped on the inside, so I'll probably replace that with one of our uh, more clock stencil so faces. It, I was actually thinking it's just paper. Yeah. So if we can glue it and get it flat, I might leave it because it has the temperature thing here. Oh, we just need to does. get the clock working again. So I could ship this, but it probably cost upwards of two hundred plus dollars. I don't know to ship. if it's worth it to ship it and because I don't of the know. size and yeah. shape. Yeah. So, but in our shop, once we fix this, we'll probably sell it for about one hundred and twenty-five to one hundred and forty-five dollars. But for thirty bucks, I couldn't pass it up. I just thought it was awesome, so we'll we'll give it a little bit of love and put it in our shop. And you know, if it doesn't sell, because sometimes this is this is like a unique needs the right buyer to sell. I love the hanging plants on there. We'll throw it next to the pool or something. Yeah. So Lori says, or we'll, or we'll sell it. And we'll probably sell it. I never get to keep the stuff I want. <laughs> that is not true. If well, you no, want. like, like if I wanted to keep it, I keep it. But I was like, like, if you want to keep it, you can keep it. But I, I, I guess I, I phrased that wrong. I never get to keep the stuff that I thought was cool, like that oh, I, I hope forgot. There's a few more that I hope doesn't sell at the shop. <laughs> I was like, don't you be blaming me. You can have it if you want. So Lori says she got a subscription box. Will I get one automatically? Um, if you're still signed up, you will um, get one. And they did ship out today. So if you have a subscription box for the craft kits, you should have gotten a confirmation email with the tracking. I know they just scanned them in, so it might take a minute for that to be updated. But if not, you can email uh, info at Jamie Ray Vintage or customer care at jamierayvintage.com and Caitlin can help you. Okay, so this is wicker on the top, which, okay, that's fine. Um, we'll probably paint it. But these are little drawers. These books faces are drawers. Aren't they so cute? I couldn't leave it here. So it was $4.99 and we're going to sell it for $49.95 once it's all painted up. I'm not seeing anything like it. And I think with a new paint job, it's going to look really cool. And drawer sets like this always sell really well at the shop. So they must have had some copyright issues because this says cone with the wind, not really? gone. Does it really say cone? C-O-N-E. That's funny. I might put some numbers just on some of the books, like with our little numbers that are like one inch farmhand. Yeah, and it's really all. easy to just get these little knobs out so it'll be really quick to paint. Emperor says that my egg basket looks like a bunch of ping pong balls. We have phantom <laughs> They're chickens. They're about ping pong They're size. Little. Right. We need to eat some eggs. They've been laying like crazy because it's been humid and hot and they love it. $3.99. This is going to get stenciled and sold for $16.95. It's a little wash down on one side, chalkboard on the other. All right, it's I'm like a go... mullet. It's like business in the front, party in the back. So I've got to straighten this up a little bit, do some, do some fine tin work. It's a little wobbly, but it's an umbrella uh, holder. Yep. And we're going to paint it and wax it. It is brass, which is cool, but I feel like if we paint it and wax it, that scene is gonna totally pop. We'll also do some wet distressing so that way some of that original brass does pop through. All right, go ahead and answer some questions okay. for a sec. I'm gonna go grab a towel so we can paint and then I'm gonna decoupage some plates and I don't know, Jamie's painting something. Okay, Robin said that that's dark academia. Is that, are you talking about the books? I don't know, I'll have to look it up. Okay, all right. Unicycles are pretty elite. That is true, Odelia. All right, we're going to be painting and stenciling. Zeb is grabbing, I think, the towel. Now, if you guys haven't been here for a while, all of our items and our paint are now all on jamierayvintage.com. We used to have two websites, and we combined them. So you can do a little thrift shopping. You can do a little paint shopping all in one. It makes for shipping interesting, but we've got that figured out. And Nancy says, I'm here for the fun stuff. Amanda likes that I said like a mullet. All right. 
Zeb, you should keep the clock. How often do you come across an outdoor item like that clock? Not now often. that you said that you don't ever get to keep stuff, I no, feel like you're gonna I didn't, have to. No, I didn't do. mean it like that. Like, so that I, feel like I, I would rather sell it if it will sell, but if it sticks around for like six or eight months and I gotta move it all over the shop for a long time, <laughs> Then I'll just bring it home. I don't think that it would be good outside here because it's so windy. I yeah. don't know. If that well, you can bolt it down, but I don't know if I want to. Like... Uh, the clock would be all okay. That that apothecary bird is very I'm eyeballing close it. to the edge. All right, so I'm gonna go grab paper and decoupage. You, you read some comments. Okay, I will read some comments and get my plates. Where did my plates go? I don't see the plates. Yeah. So I got to bend. Maybe I'll bend the umbrella holder back right now. Where did you go with it, though? Where did you, Jamie, where did you set the umbrella holder at? The umbrella holder? Oh, is... it's way around the corner here. Maybe I set it down there. So hey, I you think, can pick paper. Let's see if I'm tough enough to bend it back right now. I think it's maybe something best not done on live TV. No, I think I'm winning. You're going to show people how strong you are? No, it's it's thin. So, and this bottom part might even be tin. But I oh, think I, I'm dropping stuff. I think I got the bow out of it. Yeah, it sits flush now. Just don't whack on it hard on the top and that'll stay out. It's got a couple little nicks and dings, but I'm not going to planish it for you. Sorry. Planish um, it? Is that a word? Yep. Look, I learned something new every day. It's a metal, metal worker's term. A metal worker. I'm going to leave the dent in there, but it stands straight now. Ty is on his way driving to Kansas to go visit Zeb's sister, Maddie. She's doing her baby blessing this weekend. We are not going because it's like 400,000 hours. And we have... It's not 400,000 four, hours, well, but we did have to get the craft kits out. We had today. to get the craft kits out, and we have four out of our seven employees gone next week. Oh. So we're going to be working, working, working. Is this the old version? No, no. This oh, Odelia oh, wants everybody to know that when we went thrifting, she got to buy some clothes and she got the most epic monster pants. She also got an MTV shirt. Are you wearing them? You can shirt. come show them. She's sitting right oh, here. Oh, you want to show them your pants? Because they because they were thrifting. Can they see them? I don't know. You you might have to come over here. So. Here, stand up. Stand, stand on the step so they can Is see the Is that the spinny pants. one? When you come thrifting with mom, you get monster pants. Wait for it. Hold on. They're like Halloween. <laughs> They're so cool. All right. That's my cameo for the night. Eliza also got a an Adidas jogger jacket with all the zippers that works. And I looked it up on Nordstrom sells it for like 70 bucks. And I got it almost new for eight bucks at the first store. All right. What are you painting? Are we just doing decoupage? I'm doing the paper. Okay. Today. We're going to do the same thing. All right, so decoupage on the bottom of the plate so that the top is still usable. These are going to be hand wash only. These are going to be decor only. Not submergible. My mom used to do crafts with the church, and so they did these plates. And I've seen a lot. If Does anybody follow Mark Montagno on social media? I think he's been on HGTV. He has a very bright uh, style, and he loves himself some decoupage plates i've seen it like eight thousand times are you getting the so i just heated it up with the towel here and zip that sticky right off but you got to push hard and oh really i don't go. know that i can push that hard don't we have some <laughs> it lemon? was hard it was difficult where's the lemon juice if you guys haven't seen the new papers that are out yet people are getting them and creating some really cool stuff so this is this is one of the more popular ones and we got real bright again. Let me tone that back. Where is my magic eraser? Can you can you get my tag off for me here? You know what? I will just swap you. Use, you. use my plate. Yeah, you can use my plate. Okay. You're going to do that one. I don't know if I want to use the birds. I love the BM barn, but I don't know if that... I feel like it needs some color, mm -hmm. although you're doing black and white. Yeah, I'm doing monochromatic. You could do... We've done the wallpaper already. Hold on. I'm sorry, I'm in your way, but you're hoarding all the papers. Okay. I did mermaids once. I'll just do cottage. I like me some cottage. It might look really good. It looks, you know, the paper when you're looking at it online, you're like, that's kind of plain. And then you put it on stuff and you're like, wow, it's that really plain. changed everything. I know when I designed it, you're like, eh. And then I'm like, yeah, you showed awesome. it to me. I'm like, do we really want to do that cottage, that cottage Sadly, style floral? The pants are not for sale. <laughs> yeah. And they don't come with Odelia. 
also not an option. Can I have my patina? Sure can. All right, liquid patina. This is like decoupage gel for the big leagues. It's a Cadillac of decoupage medium. Also a top coat transfer gel that you can pick up at jamierayvintage.com. This is the crystal clear chandelier. Anna says yes on that paper. Anna, I knew we were friends. Anna, right. I think she's been, is that Anna Warren? Uh-huh. She's been asking lots of questions on table build, so I'm hoping to see oh, either a table build or a table, table refinish soon, Anna. I, you know, I own a decoupage company, paper company, because I we own this company that makes the papers. I just help design the papers, and yeah, I am not a decoupage queen. There's a big flower right up here in the corner. I'm going to off-center it on the plate. Okay. Question is, where's the? Didn't you say we need to use like a little bit of water? Yeah, you can use water to tear it. But it's already wet from the decoupage. What's a good way to tear it then? Just get your finger, like get a little cup of water and just go around your, with your finger on the edge. All right. I think Mara does it with like a little brush. Yeah, she does. Uh, you can rip it with the brush with water on it, or you can just use more of the liquid patina, but. I feel like that puts too much on and it can get thick and gloppy if you if you're just putting so much on that's what's nice like this is thicker but it's not goopy so if you just put a couple of coats on you're usually pretty good if you want less wrinkles thinner medium well, see this ripped a little bit more than medium. one or two so these are going to have a couple wrinkles anyway because the bowl or the plate kind of rounds over it's all right we got this Oops. Maybe I should have cut it first. We'll find out. Whatever it is, I'll make it look good eventually. Okay. So I'm going to see if I can tear mine like this. You no, know, the paper is where, the water's where it's at, then. The water is where it's at? The water is where it's at. You got to be patient. Hold on. Mine's doing all kinds of weird stuff. Your paper's being weird. Yeah. Well, it's just not laying down how I want it to. Oops, trash can's full. It's wanting to open up with the drawer. Okay. I'm just gonna trim mine so it's easier to work with. This whole paper dragging around is making it wanna like shift and pull off my plate. So, you know, if you're not doing this on a live stream and you're just chilling out at your house, Cut it out first. Or, you know, whatever. Or run with it like me, you know. I'll be back to comments in a minute. Oh. Careful. It did not, did not rip the way I wanted it to there. I'm going to paint the back side of this, too. Okay, I think. Holy moly. Oh. <gasps> That's a big rip. Shh. All right. It's okay. I got lots of paper. All right. I think it's just this little brush that's stiff. Oh, it's ripped in a couple of the edges. Well, here's the thing. I have artist brushes, but guess what? I don't have them because my kids like to use them because they're budding artists. I'm so, going to mush this down. It's okay. We got to encourage that. That's right. It's better than screen time. Ta-da! Ooh! Ah. ah! Okay, so it's got it's got some wrinkle situations, and it's kind of you can see the you can see the decoupage medium on it, but once it dries, you won't be able to see that anymore. So I'm going to read the tips in a minute. When this is all the way dry, I'm going to paint the back of it, and then I'm going to seal it, and then that's going to get a lot like brighter. And then I might even go around the edge with some paint. I don't know, but I think that's pretty fun. How's I'll yours show working you mine in a minute. I, I ripped it a little more up on the paper than or All on right. the plate than I wanted to, but it, we're going for an organic look. It says if you so if you lightly sand the paper afterwards and then paint it gold, oh. and the gold came through. So maybe we'll do that. We'll like wait till this dries, lightly sand it. Paint it underneath, see what we can get to come through. Do we have time to wait for it to dry? Anna says she loves 
So Anna says, plastic bagging on your hand to smooth helps. What if I have a glove? These are Jack's apple gloves. He doesn't like to touch the apples that get all gross. after The they apples fall off that the fall off the tree. They get all mushed. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it works good. Oh, no, I got an air bubble I got to chase. No. Oh. And you can also sand the edges when it's dry. Are you not done yet over there, Zoe? I'm nervous to lift it. Why? It's just paper and a plate from the dollar store. I know. Store. Worst case scenario, I throw this in the sink, soak it, and it'll, it'll come right off. Yeah, I like it. Because it's so fresh. It's fresh and new. Let me see it on this side. Oh, that turned out cool. That did turn out cool. Zeb didn't even want to... Oh, that is awesome. You know what? The other thing you could do is you could put, like, a transfer on the front of it if you wanted to. So you could, like... Match your decoupage paper, do decoupage paper on the back, transfer on the front. But I think this turned out pretty cute. So we're going to let these dry. We'll finish them, and I will share I'm them. I'm going to try to heat gun mine without breaking it. Oh, Zeb's going to try to heat gun his without breaking it. We'll share them in community, though, once they're all the way done up and painted. Um, and maybe we'll finish last week's, week before last Waste Not Wednesday dresser that we still haven't finished. We could show one side. It's got a good side. Well, not today. No. But... um. Monday, look forward to the Pie Safe video coming up on YouTube, on our YouTube channel. And then Friday, I think we'll do a finish all the projects video because we have a lot of projects that need to be painted. So comment below with some techniques you'd like to see on thrifted items, and we'll try to throw those in on Friday because we're trying really hard to make videos that you guys like. So let us know what you want to see. I'm going to check comments. Let's see, Zeb and the sunflowers. And Nancy says, I'm literally... Uh, dying as I did this back in the 80s. Zeb, fresh and new, please. Those are so cool. Off topic, but what were you working on this time last year? We were working on our house. The house, yeah. I actually, lots of memories have been popping up. I just had my phone made me, do you, does your phone like make you a reel of memories and put it to music and you get like a minute long video? If it doesn't, I don't know. Mine, mine's been doing it lately, and it did a it did a whole reel on our France trip that we took. That was last October. Yeah, that was that's twenty nineteen. Yeah. Uh, so Heidi, was it Heidi? Oh, Carolyn wants to do a salt wash project. All right, sweet. All right, I'm I just like gonna remind Carolyn's you guys, you can idea. Pick up the liquid patina and paint and anything you saw tonight at JamieRayVintage.com. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Did it get rid of? Oh, yeah. That did yeah, turn out cool. It got rid of all the streaks and things. There's a couple little wrinkles here, but I think, I don't know. I'm tempted to do the gold on there and, and just keep going with it. Yeah, tonight. I think it'll be fun. We'll come back on Monday, and then we'll do one more plate. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us. It's been fun. Make sure you're sharing out these videos if you like them. And make sure you give them a thumbs up. And we're going to get the fly swatter. <laughs> Bye, guys. guys. Love you. Have a great weekend.